Hey guys, Baby King here. I want to talk about some common misconceptions found in World of Warcraft class guides. Specifically, the talent selection in both Paladin and Warrior guides. Both classes have been theory crafted to death through the lenses of private survey data, and as a result, there is a wealth of otherwise amazing information tainted with small but glaring errors. First, let's talk about the Warrior. As it stands, warriors on private servers are able to trigger the enrage effect and blood craze through the use of the slash sit macro. Many warrior guides advise this talent to be taken as soon as possible. A warrior would first charge into combat, then immediately sit down to proc both talents. Sadly, this was not the case in vanilla. The only time the talents will proc is when you are the victim of a critical strike. Below. You can see an entry from WoW Wikia showing the fact of the matter. If you're still skeptical, I have another tidbit of info for you all. As you can see depicted below, both Blood Craze and Enrage were changed during patch 2.30 in the Burning Crusade to now be able to trigger when sitting, which further backs up my claim that neither were used like many of the classic warrior guides say they were. This will result in a significantly different experience overall for anyone used to playing private servers or people who have taken info from guides on warriors that use private server data. Now we have the paladins. Yes fan, hope you don't get pissed, but your days of sitting down, building up reckoning stacks are history. This change has unique implications for the playstyle of paladins come classic launch. What was once a key staple in Paladin PvP strategy is now essentially extinct, which I will elaborate on later in the video. At the bottom of the frame, you'll see a post made by Blue in the WoW forums reiterating what I've already said. As I said before, this change will have somewhat of a big impact on the way warriors play the game. With a slight decrease in DPS and survivability, leveling warriors looking for the quickest path to 60 will most likely spec arms. Fury would likely result in more downtime and slower time to kill. At max level, a Fury Warrior who is out farming will be hit hard by this change, especially under pre bis gear levels. In both endgame PvP and PvE content, this change doesn't affect much of anything as this tactic was not used much, if at all, in either. The implications for Reckoning spec Paladins who are leveling are not as bad as Fury Warriors, but they are still hit nonetheless. First, while leveling on a PvP server, Paladins will find themselves slightly less potent in open world PvP. Furthermore, without having a guaranteed way to build Reckoning stacks, leveling speed will also slow as well. For endgame PvP, Paladins are hit much harder than Warriors, as abusing the sit mechanic was a key element in many PvP encounters. On the PvE side of the endgame, nothing much has changed for the meme spec of the gods. In summary, I don't want this to come off as a pop shot to any WoW content creators. You guys have created some awesome guides and 99% of the information will probably still ring true once Blizzard drops Classic WoW. But I do feel that once Classic WoW is released, we're going to find many inconsistencies in the guides that I've talked about and also ones that we haven't discovered yet. I hope if anyone takes anything from this, it is that take anything and everything you see or read about classic WoW information with a grain of salt. Absolutely do not expect Blizzard's release of classic to be a one-to-one -one recreation of the private servers or of the original vanilla itself. Some changes are coming inevitable. What those changes are, we'll have to wait and see. This is Baby King, and I can't wait to see you all on the fields of Azeroth. Hey guys, hope you liked the video. Make sure to hit that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments below. What I'm going to be doing is giving away a $25 gift card when I hit 100 subscribers, so make sure you check back and see if you're potentially the winner. I'm going to be giving it away randomly. That's really all I got to say. So, until next time.